How do I create an S-based calc script for an S-based BSO database? So most people will create their BSO calc script inside of EAS. You can also do it inside of Hyperion Calculation Manager. It's a much more powerful tool, but it's probably easier for your first time to do it inside of EAS. Just right click on your database and say create calculation script and the calc script editor will launch. I will tell you that sometimes the wording on the functions changes from version to version, but just look around in EAS in general right clicking on the database or right clicking on the list of calculation scripts will give you an option to create a new calc script. When you create a calc script inside of EAS, it gets really colorful. Hey, it's a Christmas tree. Down the right side, you'll see we have our calc script. That's that small section that's color coded. Off to the left, we have things like our outline, our functions we want to insert. And then off to the far left is our navigation section that we normally see in EAS. Now there are a lot of functions that are built into the calc script editor in EAS. There are some buttons that help you type in things. There's a built-in validation function to help you find errors and it puts those down in the little error message window at the bottom. There's color coding so that you can not only make things more colorful, but easily find functions or member names or set commands. Inside the calc script editor, we could actually use a small version of the outline to find members and then insert them right into our calc script. We can also use aliases if we have alias tables set up. We can turn on argument insertion and autocompletion so that as we start typing a command name, it will give us all the commands that start with those letters. It will also, once we click on it and tell it to insert, insert the arguments for that function. Down at the bottom left of that calc script editor, you'll see a little section where we can go find functions and commands and auto insert those as well. We just double click on it. Now the simplest calc script to create is the default calc script. It's quite simply calc space all. Now it's a really powerful command. It actually aggregates all the dense and sparse dimensions in your outline, calculates all the stored members with formulas in your entire outline. It does time balancing like time balance first, time balance last, time balance average, and it uses intelligent calculation. And all that is wrapped into the little two word command calc all. Syntax for a calc script is pretty easy. Make sure that every function or command you enter ends with a semicolon. Now it can break onto multiple lines. So the semicolon is kind of a line ending character. So notice in my example over there, I have opening inventory equals, and then I did a carriage return. Opening inventory times 1.1. Maybe I just want to make my opening inventory about 10% bigger. As soon as it gets to the semicolon, it says, oh, he's done with this line concept. Let me go on to the next one. If a member name has spaces or has certain other odd characteristics, you're going to want to put double quotes around it. Make sure they're the straight up and down double quotes, not the turning in double quotes. A comment starts with a slash star and a comment ends with a star slash. Now my example, I just did a one line comment, increase opening inventory. Now assuming your database is not case sensitive as 99.9% .9 of databases are not, the calc script is not case sensitive either. And you can reference both member names and aliases inside of your calc script. Oh.